Right, so we just got this controller in. I don't know if you ever tried these. Just a cheap one. I think I paid a hundred dollars for it. It's supposed to be a three thousand watt. The LBC. It's a ninety-six volt, and I'm planning on changing the seventy-two volt battery to a 86 volt battery switching from lead acid to lithium so all your main connections are screwing under here battery sides over here and the or no red and black is your battery and then these are your uh, output so, and then this is all your controls I didn't get a what do you call it I didn't get a DC to DC converter, so oh, here's all the specs. I just want to see the specs. So I don't know what all the confined stuff means. But it's an EM100 controller. Just the cheapest. It's supposed to be pure sine wave as well. I'm not sure if that 120 settings proper either. But I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, this is my first controller. And I've never done an upgrade on a controller before or anything like that. So just have to see how it turns out kind of thing. Garage all cleaned up out right here. Ready to work on this bike. Yeah, this is what it's gonna become. I'm gonna trade this controller. Just had six uh, 12 volt batteries in there. So this one's rated for 50 amps. So 500 to 1,000 watts. was a 72 volt setup so yeah but this i think this was limited but i still got it going to about 55 kilometers an hour which i think i bypassed everything that i could i did find out some more about different speed options like it should be a low medium and high speed i don't know if i did that to it or not or if it was already done. It's been a while since I turned her on. Flip on the breaker. Wherever the breaker is. No. Oh. It's sitting at 74 volts. So either way, I'm gonna take the batteries out of this thing and uh we're going to take apart all the wiring and change pretty much everything. It's going to be very basic right now. Like, I'm probably not going to have any of that hooked up. But the BMS I'm using has all the information I need on it. So, I'm probably using my phone for quite a bit of the time until I get a DC to DC converter. Maybe a new dash. I just want to see if this is going to work. If I'm going to fry the motor. Because. Yeah. You know. Either way. I don't think uh, another 12 volts is going to do much to the motor. But yeah. I'm going to take all this apart. Got to get these battery boxes out. I'm going to put a sheet of steel in there. Like right in the center. Weld on both sides, you guys have to just see. And then I'm gonna use them uh, Honda Clarity batteries. I'm gonna put four of them in this. So two on each side going like this. And we'll get about 56 amp hours at 86 volts. I'm capable of discharging 400 amps and charging hundred so yeah I think it'll be pretty cool anyways 
Let's stay tuned. We'll see how she goes. Thanks, guys. So, got a couple minutes. So I said I'm going to take apart the battery box. Get them out of there. Get the batteries out. These batteries are going to go in the shipping container. They're going to be my shipping container system. So, still debating what I want to do. Got a 12 volt inverter. Whatever I do, I want to utilize all the batteries. So, there's six in there. So, I can either go 36 volt, uh, 12 volt, or 24 volt. 48 volt will be uneven batteries because I have six. So, yeah. But as it sits right now, I got a 20, 12 volt inverter, 1000 watt inverter. Should be fine. Lots of 12 volt lighting, so yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep going here, taking part of these batteries, and yeah, get this battery box out of here, get the controller out of there, try and label the wiring, see where it goes, and some of it's gonna be removed, some of it's gonna be left behind and reused so anyways thanks guys oh she's all hooked up i'm gonna do some charging got lead acid So it's supposed to be boost straight up. It still should be at about seven, so it's holding back a bit. It'll go up. But yeah, just kind of giving her a boost charge. Got some other stuff to hook up to it. Anyways, thanks guys. So, this is where I made it to. Got the boxes out. Got most of the electronics labeled. Or the wiring labeled circuits. They're all labeled on this side, but they're not labeled on the bike side. So, pretty much whatever they're plugged to on this, I wrote down, tagged. Not saying that that's going to be the same ones on the other bike, but didn't unhook the DC to DC yet, which shouldn't be a big deal. When I get the new one, it's probably got the same wiring on it, so. Clean stuff up, test the batteries. Not won't have to cut anything. They both fit in there perfect. It's gonna look great. Yeah, other than that, not too much. Oh, and the controller will pretty much fit in right in there too. It's got all these slots here, so lots of room to bolt stuff in. Let's put any controller there. And it gives it some good air ventilation too. Let's see how it goes. Shouldn't be too long. Can uh, start with a cardboard template of in here there. I guess it's going to go to that bar. So, however it goes through there. Piece of cardboard. Trace it out onto a piece of steel. Cut the 
piece of steel out, grind it, weld it, drill some holes for the first batteries, put the thread rod through with nuts on each side and lock washers, everything that needs to be there, and start putting batteries on. I'm almost debating whether I want to what I want to do, I don't know yet. Yeah, don't know. Gonna make some kind of harness, I guess. Because one's gonna be parallel, or there's gonna be four batteries, two, two and two, and then those two will be series. Anyways, guys, thanks. So, this is how I'm getting my template. Oh, it's sick all weekend, like crazy. Driving me nuts. So, I'm just kind of... bigger and I can always take some off it's hard to hard to put it back on I just use tape or whatever but probably be some things I cut off too Just get me the basic line of what I'm doing. And then I'll take a exacto blade and cut out that pattern and then just keep cutting until I get it so it fits in here nicely. I want it to be able to weld it here, probably down here, down here. Uh, not this, because that's the swing arm that moves, but we can weld it to this. Also gonna put a piece of one inch bar from here to here probably just because the shock is right under there and then that's just being held by this one little bar it hasn't bent yet but a little bit of extra strength doesn't hurt so i think that's the main outline there for now just kind of make it up as i go Just kind of follow my lines and cut all that out. Exacto knife and cut around there. Whew. Anyways, thanks guys. Oh, so, that's kind of how that's gonna go. That's the plate I need to cut out. Probably I'm gonna continue this straight down to there and then go across. So I'll put some tape on there. That fits everywhere else, nice and tight. Like I said, it's gonna be welded around here and there to that. And I might put a piece in here. Maybe, we'll see. I guess if it hasn't bent yet, it probably won't bend. And weld it down on this bottom piece here too. And then a couple nice welds up here. A little weld there, a couple welds on there. And yeah. So that'll be an actual piece of plate steel. 
Probably just use that white stuff over there. It's kind of where we're at. And the batteries will go on there. No problem. Instead of making something special, I'll probably just make a couple of just some flat plates that come on here to protect the batteries from water on both sides, like two wings kind of, or maybe just end of piece that folds around this. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out after. Probably should have some sort of covering for the batteries. Pretty straightforward also this controller will be for sale if anyone needs a controller I don't think it's a pure sign but it is 72 volt with Bluetooth and all that stuff but yeah it's pretty close to where she's gonna fit Anyways. Thanks guys, get that piece cut out onto a plate. And we'll see what it takes to get that real one fit in there. And then we'll grind up the area and weld the plate in. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Thanks guys.